The Lord Mayor of London was in Abu Dhabi last week. Why was he here and what did he want? I'm Jeremy Lawrence, this is Shay Shaquille and welcome to Inside AB. Okay Shay, London's Lord Mayor was here. Uh, he was caught in the Gulf. Uh, what was he wanting? Well, he's trying to get more business, uh, more companies to list on the London Stock Exchange. Obviously, his job is to promote the UK as a trade and investment destination. Mm. Um, and so his regional tour was to facilitate that conversation. OK, of course, we're talking here about Alderman Charles Bowman. Um, he's the Lord Mayor of the City of London Corporation. Slightly confusing. He's not the actual mayor, Sadiq Khan. Um, he represents um, Charles Bowman, the interests of the City of London. Right. Hence his push for business here. And of course, the London Stock Exchange. Um, he wants golf for firms to, lund, uh, to list on the LSE. First, tell us how the LSE is doing. Well, the LSE is doing great. I mean, since its inception in about 1793, it's uh, got 350 companies on its uh, exchange. It's, the, it's the, one of the world's most uh, international stock exchanges. Uh, over 50 countries are represented on the exchange. So he wants to continue that tradition. Um, and uh, it's, it's doing pretty well. It's had 75 or so IPOs come on this year, should have 100 by the end of the year. Um, profits are up by 17%, but of course, the future is a bit uncertain given okay. what's happening. Okay, talking here about, of course, about Brexit. Yeah. Um, so you've got this, this historic institution that's, that's massively successful around the world, and yet Brexit, the effect is making itself felt. Right. Brexit isn't uh, going to bode well uh, for the LSE uh, and the group CEO, uh, Xavier Olay, uh, has been quite vocal and deeply critical mm -hmm. about it. Um, the LSE tried to do, tried to merge with the German Deutsche Börse, but that deal fell through and uh, the ramifications of that are still being felt. Uh, Xavier Olay has decided to step down from the CEO position. He's saying he will not be returning under any circumstances. Okay. Hence, the Lord Mayor is over here touting for business. and. Um... How would the LSE benefit from GCC listings? Well, the LSE stands to benefit because the GCC obviously has a pipeline of companies coming out, but is expecting to come up with the biggest IPO in the history of the world. Obviously, that is Saudi Aramco. Uh, it expects to raise $2 trillion. The whole world wants that business, mm. um, and it's supposed to come out sometime soon. But there are also other companies that the LSE would like to have. Mm. For instance, Adnoc, which came on the Abu Dhabi Stock Exchange last year. Um, Adnoc was 22 times oversubscribed. So that means there's a healthy amount of appetite for more capital. Okay. Adnoc. Okay. And uh, what's in it for the companies looking to go public? Uh, why, why would they choose to go uh, with a dual listing and, and with the LSE? Well, this graph is a graph of uh, what a crazy volatile uh, market might look like. Mm. It's, it's very jagged. And this isn't the kind of uh, trajectory you'd want to have if you had an IPO. Now, if you were listed in London and a regional market like Abu Dhabi, which had low uh, trading volumes, then and the company's fundamentals hadn't changed, then in London you could see that this was not actually indicative of the company's performance. Mm. And you could try and come and stabilize that company's uh, stock. Okay, so it brings stability to your company. Absolutely. Great, great. Uh, what's in it for the ADX? Well, the ADX benefits because the ADX can then offer companies the ability to do a list because of agreements that it's currently negotiating. Mm. So that means more companies come to the ADX and stock exchanges make, monies, uh, make money by company, companies coming on the exchanges with transaction fees, with listing fees uh, and you know associated uh, uh, instruments. Okay, um, good for business then. Absolutely. And this man? Yeah, the CEO of uh, Abu Dhabi Exchange, he's quite keen on getting that business, getting... Uh, uh, the agreements formulated, the legal procedures with the London Stock Exchange. He's uh, said he's quite uh, sure that he'll be able to get something off the ground okay. very soon. Okay. So we've got to ask, uh, do you think we'll still see more dual listings coming up in the future? Well, I think it's a very good proposition. Um, the London Stock Exchange is one of the world's uh, most storied stock exchanges. Um, companies here are beginning to emerge, the regional powerhouses. Um, we've seen it with NMC, which is listed at the London Stock Exchange with Al Noor. Um, they've gone on to post tremendous valuation. So yeah, I think, uh, I think there's a good market for it. Okay, so uh, potentially very successful trip for the Lord Mayor last week. I think so. Okay, well, thank you, Shay Shaquille. Uh, my name is Jeremy Lawrence. You've been watching Inside AB. Do tune in same time tomorrow, 10 a.m. on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and bye.